The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you. And I will lead you back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for Francis Murphy. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, who filled the heart of St. Rose Philippine Duchesne with charity and missionary zeal and gave her the desire to make you known among all peoples, grant us to follow her way and fill us with that same love and zeal to extend your kingdom to the ends of the earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits, before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this. The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this. I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles but are not, and discovered that they are imposters. Moreover, 
You have endurance and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on this law day and night. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Saint, uh, don't know how to spell the name, hold on. (laughs) Happy Saint Rose Philippine Duchesne Day. There we go. That is a French last name. She helped many poor people here in America. And she was an impressive woman. When you read about her life, it is a very inspiring story about her sacrifices that she made. And one of the things that we can learn from her life is that we cannot allow ourselves to have false humility. You know, we see many things happening around us in our family, in our community, in our country, in the world. And there are things we can do. When we, it's, but it's easy for us to say in the face of all those things, oh, there's nothing I can do. I'm just a humble person. You know, I can't try to save the world. Who am I to do that? But really, we need to remember that Jesus showed an example of saving the world. <laughs> he did it. And we are supposed to be Christ's followers. So we're supposed to try to save the world too, like he did. And some people might say, oh no, what's wrong with you? You have a savior complex. And that last word, complex, what does that mean? When we think about that. It's a strange word. But really, it just means you're trying to become like Christ. And that is something that we can do. One reason sometimes we take on false humility is that we think, oh, it's not going to be easy to save the world. People are going to be upset with us, and if we try to do that, you know, it's not going to go well for us. But again, we need to remember what Jesus did and what, what happened to him. Did people always enjoy what he did or think it was good? Not at all. It was the complete opposite. In response to his actions, he was nailed to a cross. And so for us, if we think that we are trying to avoid trouble by being humble, it's not going to work. It's not a good excuse. Remember, in the first reading today, we see St. John the Evangelist having this vision God reminding all the churches that they needed to be careful. They can't just sit back and think that they had done enough and that they were saved and they were good. But they are receiving this message that they do need to do more. They need to go out and not just sit back and relax with that false humility. It's easy for us to convince ourselves that we're good enough, that we're fine, the way we are. So remember, we need to stay awake and be vigilant. We need to work to face our challenges 
and continue to suffer with Christ and have hope. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that all parents who mourn the loss of a son or daughter find support in their community and receive peace and consolation from the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Richard Henning, that he makes a successful transition in his role here at the Archdiocese of Boston. We pray to the Lord. For our political leaders, that they heed the calling of God to build a culture of life from natural conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. For all of us who hunger for meaning and purpose in our daily lives, that our needs will be satisfied by turning to Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. For all the soldiers on active duty and the first responders, that their duties be fulfilled with courage, hope, and strength, nourished by Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. For those being held hostage, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, that they be strengthened by the hope of the Lord's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. For world peace, especially conflicts in the Middle East and in Russia, Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. For our beloved who have gone before us, may they find a new home in the mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. We remember in a special way Francis Murphy, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord. Almighty and loving God, we thank you for answering our prayers according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. Praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all of his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you, and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. To be near God is my happiness. 
to place my hope in God the Lord. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go forth, the mass is ended. Thanks be to God.